the unique species that live in Australia, which don't occur anywhere else, these make up Australia's natural legacy. They enrich us. If we don't save these frogs, that richness gets diminished. Of the 245 species of frogs that are known from Australia, there are 26 species that we consider to be endangered or critically endangered or extinct already. So that's over 10% of Australian frog species, which are in dire straits. There are several species that we actually already think to be extinct. And the reason for that is because we haven't seen them for a long time, in some cases, several decades. Despite lots of people looking for them, lots of experts out there searching for these frogs, they just haven't turned up. Some of the frogs that we're about to lose are really amazing. For example, the Southern Crogger frog, aptly named for its colours, these spectacular bright yellow and black stripes over its body, reminiscent of Aboriginal crobbery paintings. There's a disease called the Kidron fungus, which is a global disease that emerged in North America and it seems to be the primary cause of decline of frogs and extinction of frogs in seemingly pristine environments. However, climate change has started to take hold, and so nowhere now is pristine. Climate change has direct effects through causing warming and drying of habitats, but it also has indirect effects through things like increasing the frequency and intensity of bushfires. Now we're at the point where we can be very confident and very explicit about what actions need to be taken. use captive breeding and reintroduction to supplement populations to hopefully enable them to adapt over time to dealing with our changing environments. But these are actions that we need to take now, otherwise we are going to lose some of these species. The good news about all this is that we actually know how to do this. We know that we can reproduce these frogs in captivity and in large numbers. We know we can remove invasive species like pigs and fish. So what's impeding us from doing it? resources and support. If we don't save these frogs, it means that we're not saving their habitats, we're not protecting their ecosystems. And if we're not protecting those ecosystems adequately, then we're probably not protecting lots of other ecosystems adequately. And so these frogs are a symptom of a much bigger global issue about how humanity look after this planet.